heatsink replacement Mac Mini 2014. The tools we're going to need are a T5, T6, T10 screwdrivers, a TR6 security screwdriver, tweezers, prying tool, and thermal paste. Here's a TR6 screwdriver, which is a T6 with a hole. Let's begin by flipping over the unit and uh, hitting that like button. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and pry in with our plastic prying tool. Just get underneath and then twist it like left to right and the panel should pop right up. There are three uh, wide TR6 screws and then three small TR6 screws. This is the TR6 screwdriver. It's kind of hard to find that bit. Let's go ahead and remove those. You can't remove them with a regular T6 because that little uh, um, post in the middle of the screw blocks it from going in. So you need the special screwdriver. With those six removed, you can go ahead and start pulling up on the antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna. Be careful, it's still attached to the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Uh, right here, go ahead with the T6 screwdriver, remove that screw. And then you can gently, with tweezers, go ahead and pop out the antenna and disconnect it. Now we can move this out of the way. The fan is held in with three T6 screws. Go ahead and remove those. I like to just leave them in place um, and just lift up the fan. Uh, as you lift it up, you can see it's still connected to the logic board. Carefully with tweezers, get underneath that cable and just gently pull it up. Don't be too rough with it. You can definitely rip this cable. Okay, let's remove this T6 screw. It secures the logic board to the case. It's a long screw. Now go ahead and remove this uh, uh, shorter T6 screw that uh, holds the bracket and connects the hard drive to the logic board. Once that's removed, go ahead and peel back that connection and unplug it. Now go ahead and unplug the sensor's cable right here by gently going underneath it. Try to do this with a plastic tool. With that out of the way, go ahead and push down on the logic board as you're holding the case and start pulling it out. It should take a lot of resistance. Once the logic board starts coming out, go ahead and pull out that power cable. Uh, from the power supply and then you can just pull out the logic board. It's free. The heatsink is secured with five screws. There are four clearly visible T10 screws right here. Go ahead and remove those on the bottom right, bottom left, uh, top right, and um, top left. Those are removed. Go ahead and remove that T6 screw right there on the right. And that should release the heatsink. You can just lift it up. Reassembly. If you've purchased a used heatsink, make sure to wipe off any of the residue from the previous installation. You can do this with a cloth or a paper towel. The same goes for the CPU. Make sure that all of the thermal paste is wiped off and it's nice and flat, clean surface. Now go ahead and apply thermal paste on the CPU die the small one right here, just one dot, and then a stripe line on this GPU, like you see here. We can place the heat sink back. It should smear uh, the uh, thermal paste uh, on the rest of the die with the pressure. Go ahead, reinstall the four T10 screws, one on the opposite perpendicular corner at a time, uh, slowly screw them in. Let's reinstall the logic board. Go ahead, slide it in in, in the following orientation. Don't push it in all the way. Make sure you have enough slack to plug in that power cable from the power supply. This should take some playing around, but you should be able to align it, push it in, make sure it's all the way in. Now go ahead and push the, the clips in on the sides and make sure to push the logic board in all the way once you got the power cable hooked up. Uh, keep pushing it in. You might feel some resistance. You might have to pick the case up a little bit and then push it in where you feel the resistance. And it should be able to go right 
in like so. Reconnect that sensor cable right there by pushing it into its socket. Reconnect the hard drive, make sure that's in and clicked in all the way. Once that's firmly in and secure, go ahead and put that bracket back over it. Go ahead and secure that bracket with that T6 screw. That bracket keeps it from popping out. Next, let's uh, screw in that post that holds the logic board to the case. Now the uh, fan. Go ahead and uh, put it over the socket. Apply some pressure with your finger to click it in. Align it. Go ahead, put that long screw in on the bottom. And go ahead and secure those three T6 screws. Um, you can do it with your finger too to get it started. With those three secure, let's go ahead and reattach the Wi Fi antenna go ahead and uh, align it with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card and go ahead guide it in and make sure it pops in nice and firm into that socket just kind of twist it in and align that uh, little uh, retainer uh, hole because we're gonna need to secure this last T6 screw right there and then let's just go ahead and tug that cable in a little bit align the Wi-Fi uh, uh, antenna cover and let's secure the three uh, wider longer post screws uh, first these are the TR6 screws with that little safety in the middle and then the other three smaller TR6 screws with those connected we can go ahead and place back the cover make sure to align the cover holes with the longer uh, TR6 screws and then clip it into place and now you can flip the unit back over and we're done